Good morning, this is Brian Arbo, Messenger 42. It's Monday morning, uh, June 24th, at about 9.20 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the Lord put on my heart this morning to record this short video um, addressed to both the church and to uh, America. The Lord has given me a number of messages uh, that have been released over the past two, two and a half weeks. Um, counting down, um, I will not go back over everything. Um, just to say that uh, the Lord has repeated uh, warnings for four years now since uh, 2015, prophetic warnings. And He has given the warnings and fulfilled those with signs from hurricanes, to statewide fires, to mass shootings, to striking U.S. Navy destroyers. God has not remained silent for the past four years. He has warned us repeatedly to repent as a nation and for the church to uh, come back to Him. But uh, we have not heeded those warnings and rather we have turned further and further away from Him. And uh, so the Lord says time is up. Uh, there are no more warnings. Uh, he now tells us to prepare to meet our God. The last uh, two prophetic words released, uh, God has specifically marked June 17th and June 26th. June 17th has passed. June 26th uh, is this Wednesday in two more days. He's marked those days, he's linked those days together, and he has picked this month to mark these days um, because June 17th represents a number of events, which goes back to 1963 when the U.S. Supreme Court uh, ruled and took prayer out of the schools. And uh, America said God does, uh, America no longer needs God in its schools for its children. And God has not forgotten that. And so we now reap what we have sown because we have taken God from our children. June 17th also represents the day of the Charleston church shooting where nine people were killed. It also represents the prophetic date of June 17th, 2017 when God said that uh, he would strike us. It is the Rainier sign and on that day God struck our first U.S. Navy destroyer. The second prophetic date he gave was August 21st, 2017 the day of the solar eclipse and he struck our second Navy destroyer. These are all telling events and God is very precise and specific with the dates and numbers. These dates and numbers are not meaningless. They are very precise because God is perfect. He is a God of precision and accuracy and he wants it very clearly known that he is in control and he is bringing these events about. And they are chastisement against a disobedient fallen nation and against a disobedient church. And so June 17th, um, this month, this year, marks again the anniversary for these events. And they are linked because they are part of the Rain Man sign, the Elijah sign, the Rainier sign, that you will find on messenger42.org website. And God has used that repeatedly. God also linked the Parkland, Florida school shooting to this day as a countdown. Elisha's uh, two bears tearing the 42 young men. Now God has also picked this month because it is what America is celebrating as its month of pride. And June 26 marks the fourth anniversary where the Supreme Court ruled for same-sex marriage in America. And let me state this very clear. Same-sex, any form of homosexuality is a grave sin before God, but it is not the only sin. And many in the church would like to say, uh, point the fingers and judge those involved in this ungodly sin while they themselves partake in fornication, adultery, and all forms of other sexual immorality. Those are no less than no less sin to God. God says all of these, including thieves and murderers, 
will not enter the kingdom of heaven. But the one reason that God sets us apart is because usually, usually, when we choose to sin willfully, we try and cover it up. When somebody commits murder or they steal or they commit adultery or fornication, they're not usually advertising it. They're usually not proud of it. They know it's wrong. And so they do what they can to varying degrees to try and deceive and to hide so that they are not found out. And we don't stand up and introduce people proudly and say, this is a murderer, this is a thief, this is a adulterer who continues in their ways and wants you to accept them as they are and we're very proud of them. And yet with the same sex issue, America is proud of that. And that is what is extremely grievous to God. And on top of it, use his covenant symbol when he wiped out all wickedness and evil on the face of the earth and the flood with the exception of eight people because of its evil and wickedness state that this world was in. And so that covenant promise, that sign God gave that he would no, never again destroy all mankind and destroy the earth by flood was a promise but it doesn't was not a promise that God would not destroy us again just not by flood and yet we use that covenant promise in the face of God's prior judgment and we put that in God's face and we proudly proclaim that and God is very upset with that and so I speak to that in very clear terms I'm not trying to be politically correct God is not politically correct he is just correct whether we like it or not. I myself, for much of my life, and up to about seven years ago, was living a very moral, immoral, sinful, rebellious life. I've been there. Only by God's grace and His mercy did He redeem me. And I've turned from those ways. There is the offer of grace and mercy to all who will receive it. But God requires us to change, change our ways and conform to His ways. But we don't want to listen to that. In America, we see this violent fight taking place right now for the right to kill unborn children, for the right to commit sexual immorality, for all of these human rights that, that, that so much of America now is violently fighting for in the face of God and against God himself. And there are those that even say that this is the way God wants it. God's not happy, God hasn't changed. So he marks this month of pride, he marks Wednesday, June 26th, that he is tied to June 17th. Now why is he marked it, what will he do? I have learned over the past four years in the prophetic calling that he has given me that I don't know what he's going to do. It might be very something very uh, large, might be something very small, might be very symbolic. Only God knows, but he marks the date in a way so that he will reveal himself. And I will tell you this quickly, is that uh, on May 15th in 2015, the Lord gave me a vision. It was what I referred to as the 254 vision. And on the wall on the vision, I saw a large white wall with a graph. And I saw a very small number, 254, low on the graph. And high on the graph, I saw a very large number, 254, 50 to 100 times the size of the small one. And as that vision faded away, the voice of the Lord said to me, Etna, Etna. And the Lord revealed to me, Etna is a volcano in Italy. And that would be the code word. God has given that just in the past week or so. The 254 represents the number of days in the year. Day 254 is 9-11. And the Lord told me that small number 254 represents the impact to America of 9-11-2001. Brought by the hand of God, whether you like it or receive that or not. As a warning for us to turn back to Him. But we have done the opposite. And the larger number, 254, 50 to 100, 100 times in size, 
is what God says the impact to America of the new 254-911 type of event that he will bring to America now. And God has counted down. And time is up. Last year in 2018, three years to the day, on May 15th, 2018, I had a dream. And in that dream, I was standing in front of a very large missile. And somebody handed me a key, a clear card key. And it was the access key to activate and launch that missile. And I walked around and inspected the missile. I put the key in the control panel and I turned the knob of the switch. And the first position, the control panel lit up. Then I turned it to the second position and the missile lit up. And everything was activated, ready to launch. And I was prepared to turn it to the third position to launch. And I woke from that dream. The Lord gave me that key. This last week, a couple of days ago, the Lord revealed to me that clear card key. Unbeknownst to me, I was given a few months ago. It's a physical key. And I received the sign Friday, and God says, time to launch. The number God has assigned to me is 42, Messenger 42, the Elijah sign. God told me on Friday morning, how many years, how many days from that missile launch dream of May 15, 2018, would this Wednesday be, June 26? It is one year and 42 days. 142, that number is very relevant to me. It's very relevant to God. So one year and 42 days, God says. And he said, go back to my journal and look at the date and the time of that dream. And the dream was at 142. 142, that's the mark. So God has marked that missile that represents America's new 9-11. And he has marked this Wednesday, June 26. So I record these words and I send this message out as a very clear warning. Make no mistake, for the past four years, God has issued over 30 prophetic warnings that I have mailed out, handwritten, and mailed out across the nation from the White House to leaders of Congress to National Church and Ministry leaders. And for the past seven months, they've been on a website, messenger42.org, with continuing prophetic messages that everyone has been fulfilled with a large sign or a small sign. And all of the signs are all very destructive. It is by God's hand. And when America is shocked and brought to its knees, God wants us very clearly to know this is by His hand. Make no mistake about it. He declares it beforehand. Into the church, be very clear about this. Much of the church has fallen far from God. Many say they are led by the Holy Spirit. They speak of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not speaking to them. It is a spirit, but it is not the Spirit of God. God says, it is written that my Father's house should be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. God is not happy with most of the church. Most of the church has turned away from God. And God will deal with that. I read from Malachi, chapter 3, starting in verse 1. Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple. And the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire, and like fuller's soap. He will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. And he will purify the sons of Levi, and refine them like gold and silver. And they will bring offerings and righteousness to the Lord. Then the offerings of Judah and Jerusalem will be pleasing to the Lord as in the days of old and as in former years. Then I will draw near to you for judgment. I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers, against the adulterers, against those who swear falsely, against those who oppress the hard worker in his wages. 
the widow and the fatherless against those who thrust aside the sojourner and do not fear me, says the Lord of hosts. The two prophetic words, scriptures, given in the last two messages for June 17th, 617 and June 26th, God gives from Jeremiah. Chapter 6, for June 17th, God gives Jeremiah, chapter 6, verse 1, 7. I set watchmen over you, saying, pay attention to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not pay attention. And for June 26, 626, the Lord gives the scripture. O daughter of my people, put on sackcloth and roll on ashes. Make mourning as for an only son, most bitter lamentation. For suddenly the destroyer will come upon us. And God has sent his destroyer against our nation repeatedly. That is Exodus 12, 23. 12, 23, December 23rd, day 357. It is God's 357. Issued from the state of Florida, God's 357. The last scripture I'll give you, and this is to the church. Is in First Peter. Chapter four. Verse 17, to the church. For it is time for judgment to begin at the household of God. And if it begins with us, what will be the outcome for those who do not obey the gospel of God? Be very clear, church. God has come in a clean house. He's declared that for four years. Ezekiel chapter 9, read it. God's come in a clean house, starting with the church. That time has come. From 2001, 9-11, to 2008, the financial crisis for America were both by the hand of God. It was a seven-year span of time. From 2008 to 2019, prior to 9-11, 2019, will be 11 years. That's seven years and 11 years. That is 7-11. And Luke 19:46. The Lord, when he cleansed the temple, drove out the money changers. He said, it is written, my father's house should be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. And the Lord Jesus was quoting Jeremiah 7.11. So God gives the 7.11 sign, again, to show that he is sovereign, he is in control, and time is up for America's rebellious nation to turn against God. And it is time for the Lord to clean house, starting in first in the Lord's house, to set things right. Let this message serve as a witness, an advance warning of what God is about to do. I pray for America, I pray for the church. I pray that each and every one of you will turn your hearts to God, if you don't know him, through his son Jesus Christ. And if you do, but you've fallen away, turn back before it is too late. For God is not willing that any should perish, but that all would have everlasting life. But it's your choice. Thus saith the Lord.